My opponent is Snapmaster. Fingers crossed. How much does the game cost to play? The game is free to play. It's in closed beta. You have to get a key. Um, the individual drafts are... Competitive drafts are $10 a draft, which is quite a lot. Wow. Don't think I can keep this. I guess I keep this. I need white mana. Some really shitty mulligans. From five lands to two, but the two are the wrong color with no creatures we can play and two enchantments to play on them. It's really bad. Probably getting mulligan too, right? Green Seeker's an excellent draw here. But then again, when it's Green Seeker, not an excellent draw. Ramping up. Oh, he's got to play for it too. That's annoying. This is like, this is white black lifesteal with no fucking white mana sources. All right. Green black though has a lot of options for flyers, plummets, and. Plummets and real removal and shit like that. So weird to see a splat, like, again, like... Did you just get mana screwed? A second land there, but it's okay. Let's go ahead and play both Pack Beast and Falcon. Thank you. And get in for one. Yep, get in for one. Got food on my plate, guys. So we're blowing about two seconds. So I'm going to eat that in a minute. Oracle. He's gotten a lot of value out of that mana left. He's been able to play it every single turn, which is incredible. So rarely do you get to do that. But it's been really good for him. Let's check. Draw. I think it's an oaken form turn. Keep going in the air. Although the oracle promises he wants to trade. Maybe I don't. Maybe it's just oracle of my own. A little bit more mana efficient. Meet the webcam back in a minute.
All right, food taken care of. Those kind of nice draws. The angel draw was really big because his deck has a much better ground game than ours did with that opening. Um, <clears throat> two threes were nice for holding him off. Aren't going to do a lot otherwise. I don't think plummet has a lot of value for us. I think our naturalizers have some value. And possibly a second titanic growth as well. The double uh, Satter Enchanter into two enchantments was a pretty big deal. I don't think I'm changing anything, though. The only one that's really questionable to me is the Rock's Oracle. Doesn't have a lot of value versus his deck. Root Snare might. So I might have Titanic Growth. Let's see how Root Snare treats us in that matchup. It's dead some of the time. Some of the times it lets us just uh, attack without having to worry about it. His board got fairly aggressive fairly quickly. There's no way I was pushing through on the ground. We got very lucky we got the Pegasus to actually do some lifting damage. Maybe I can enchant earlier on the Flyers if I see how his deck plays out. He's playing white green with a splash of black. He just didn't hit white mana to begin with. Opponent goes first. I've got a one. All I need is green land. Okay, he did he did mulligan and we didn't. That's kind of nice. Oh, it's a lamb. It's the wrong fucking color. There's almost nothing for us. That, however, is the best draw we could pick up, bar none, in our deck right now. That has me super excited. Do I want to try to race or do I want to try to uh, attack with the Satter? I think I want to get value while I have the board. Thing is, take vengeance plus strangling spores, plus lich's caress, plus bite, plus luminous bonds. Tough to say here. No, Titanic's not a play here. I, mean, I could threaten Titanic, but if he just doesn't block, or he blocks with one, what am I going to do? Spend my entire turn killing a 2-2 two -two token for a card? Take Vengeance is the one I'm worried about. Luminous Bonds would be bad too, but Take Vengeance. That would be bad on the Falcon or the Enchanter. I guess they're both bad on either. Jesus Christ, that goes so wide so fast. This is a Titanic Growth Militia Bugler turn over uh, Angel. Next turn might be Angel, though. Oh, that's so good for me. So fucking good for me. It's won me the game.
He had a disgusting board, super scary board. And now what? Now he's got nothing. Is it even bugler? I think it might be coarser actually. Like he saw me, I just killed him with titanic growth last game. He knows I have titanic growth. What kind of fucking block was that? I don't know, man. Just such a blowout. If he blocks that. Block with all four, because four actually killed it. Not giving it flying, just in case there's a... I guess there could be a flash blocker. We haven't seen a plummet, but there could be a plummet. Let's play around the plummet over the flash blocker. I mean, I killed him with flyers last game. Presumably, he put in some plummets. All right. So he went first that one. He didn't have a lot of early game. Last time he had very good opener. This game he did not. I don't remember who went fucking first and either of them. I guess I won that, so he went first. Uh, he went first the first time though. So he went first them. This time. Who went first the time before? Me? Don't remember. So clutch we drew that green land. Well, it wasn't four for zero. It was two for one. It cost me a titanic growth. And I traded for two uh, two calves. But I did trade two mana for eight mana worth of spells. So definitely helpful for me. Okay, well this deck is doing better than I ever expected it to. Mostly because we're playing opponents who aren't playing very well. I don't want to insult the guy, but I don't think those plays are good. So, uh, we just broke even on this, this deck somehow. Okay. Yeah, three blockers seem safer. I mean, it doesn't play around Heroic, uh, Heroic Leap, which I presumably could have been playing, but he's already seen my Titanic Growth and he hasn't seen that Heroic Leap. So he has to put me on at least the possibility of a Titanic Growth. So if you're really worried about either, just chump. I mean, it was tapping my creatures and he does get to counterattack every single round. So it just accelerates the race. And presumably at some point he can start chump blocking with his Vigilant Tokens if he wants. It seems really weird to block four like that. I think it was probably a mistake. Clearly with my hand, it was a mistake, but I think even open it would be that. I'm gonna be running M19 mostly. I'm gonna do Amonkhet actually after this one. That's coming up. Too bad we don't have an Oaken form, but otherwise this hand looks good. Can't get stalled out by any like two, three creature ever. Red, black, green is opening mana, kind of weird. Let's bugle. I've got enough land. Sure. Naturalized just went to the bottom. Well. Too much land. We're flooding a little bit here. Helps my opponent isn't doing anything, but we're flooding. I'll get Angel on Curve, which is nice. Jesus. Okay, another land, but also no play for my opponent. In his position, I think I would have just taken the damage and counterattacked for eight. Or possibly, if I was real worried about the race, possibly chumped and then, uh, Chumped and then hit him for six. Sure, main deck plummet. Gotta remember that. That's fine. Can't tell his colors right now. Red, black with the green splash. I mean, he's got two mana of all colors right now. It's really tough to say. And a manolith. Yeah, that's a question we'll play. Manolith.
I just played no creatures so far. Who went first here, chat? Me or him? I think it was me, but I don't know that. I don't know his colors. He didn't mulligan that either, right? Like, the, he kept that hand. He was like, this hand is totally playable. Oh, he went first? Okay. Thank you. Um, I don't know what to put in my deck because I haven't seen any of his deck. Saw one artifact. Keep that artifact. Sure. He played a Manolith. In five lands. Or six lands or something. I mean, he might have just flooded. I mean, that might be what that was. He played a land every turn, didn't do anything. That reeks of a flood. That's what I want to see. It's a bit worrisome if he's got another plummet just sitting around. So he did mulligan. Okay. He goes first, right? Haven't showed him any enchants yet. He might not want to mulligan. He might not want to enchant that. I don't know if I want to play the enchant on that. Problem is, it's my turn two play, right? Haven't seen green mana yet. All right. You need a land next turn. There's green mana. Plummet in hand. Plummet in hand. Feels bad. Rip Goreclaw. Bristling Boar. It's a good draw. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Playing green white aggro versus God alone knows what. Reclamation Sage for my enchantments, a good one for him. Ted answers this hand, we'll give him that. Yeah, you know what would be really fucking nice right now? Sure. Duress. Duress main deck for quick bite. You bet, buddy. Worked out really well for you, but that seems fairly unusual. Got all the answers today. Plummet, Reclamation Sage, just working out for you. I like it. By like it, I mean it's a load of fucking bullshit. Alright, I needed a way to get rid of the Bristling Boar. The way to do that was, uh, the bite. I guess I'm gonna swing with the Thornhide Wolves into this. Get eaten by the Basilisk. I mean, it's low enough. Maybe I just push in two turns here. Just don't want to give him free trades for long. He eats a creature every turn with the boar doing that. Okay, he just drew dead again. He's flooded out pretty hard over there. All right. Yeah, it feels pretty bad. Well, that's wrong. Why would you not block the Basilisk with the 2-1 and get a free fucking death touch off the board? Makes no sense to me. Sure. 
Titanic growth we win. He just drew a land. It's really bad news for him. He's flooded out so hard. Also, what the fuck is Manolith doing in his deck? Have we seen a, a card in his deck that costs more than four mana? See, this is why you really wanted to get rid of the Death Touch creature. GG. He flooded, so, I mean, if I look at it this way, we drew six lands, he drew three, four, five, six, he drew eight. He had two direct answers for us, but one of his cards was dead from Manolith. I don't know what his deck was still. I think it's a black splash. I think that's red green. I think that's Gruul with a black splash. I think. All right, let's enter these into the spreadsheet. We didn't mulligan that one. He did. Oops. I think those were two opponent flooded matches. I think he flooded out both of those those matches. Should be rage inducing for him. This deck is getting carried by the fact my opponents keep either getting unlucky or playing poorly, or both. All right, so um, someone did say at the start of this draft, it's my turn to get lucky. I guess that's true. <laughs> 